I changed up the paint scheme on the truck. I couldn't handle it just being all tan. So I added the white bottom to it. It's got a gold pinstripe. And I try to make it as close to the factory two-tone paint as I could as far as the height of it. And that's what it looks like. See it comes across the middle of the side marker. You can see some of the bodywork still, but it's pretty straight. Did the best that I could with it. I just gotta put the bumpers back on and finish polishing the paint, get all the buffing compound off of the tan. I just got done buffing all the white. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks a little more fancy. Better than an old utility truck look. I think it looks pretty good like that. Yeah, I gotta put the grill back in, the bumpers back on. At least all that will be done. I end up having to redo the front piece a couple times trying to get the paint to go on correct and so a few tries and I finally got it I started cleaning up the frame I get real crazy with it you can see it's got a little bit of a shine to it uh, the Jeep Cherokee steering column is in there it is bolted right into it uh, it was the right length that I needed with my body lift. And I made my bracket for the clutch linkage. That works. The clutch really isn't that hard to push with it. A little bit of finishing on that. All the exhaust is on. It's all tucked up so you can't see it from the side but it still has the flow masters and then it comes around the suburban fuel tank added some hangers and then some turn downs so that's how the turn downs look then on the fuel tank I ended up getting round bar and I just notched it to fit the nut down in there so that the weight of the tank is spread out across that bar and across that cross member. And it was put together like that instead of just having how it was with just the bolts coming up through there and then the nut where I had it kind of flattened out. So at least the cross member will hold the, the whole weight of it. I think the exhaust came out pretty good. It swings up and over my cross member. Then comes back. And then I have the H pipe built into it, like I was saying. So all that's welded together. You can see how it comes around the tank. I tried to make them as level as I could. And I wanted the pipes to be all the way up. Then it's hangers off of the angle iron. You can't see the exhaust from the side of it. And a little bit more of the frame getting everything cleaned off of it, all the overspray. For the filler neck. That's in there. I gotta make the piece for inside the bed, make a cover for the, the piping itself. But what I ended up doing was on the filler neck where you have your three screws, uh, there's four spot welds that hold that flange to this filler neck. Drill out the spot welds and make it so I can pivot that flange. So that got me to where I could put it up there.
then it comes through the hole in the floor of the bed comes around and I end up using just a hole saw to cut a hole in the bed rail so it passes through the bed rail with a 90 degree bend fuel hose comes out heading downward and then another 90 to the actual fuel tank uh, both of the 90s are actual fuel hose it's not radiator hose I got that from Napa they had to order it in uh, I just got to finish the angle because this needs to go up a little bit higher but it's all downhill from the actually putting fuel into it and then it runs down and down and then into the tank that solves that that's really about as far as I got well now it's just a matter of cl finish cleaning off all the polishing compound on the truck is cleaning up the tan part of it but when it comes to all this painted stuff or clear plastic or headlights uh, my Camry has the plastic headlights that I clean the stuff I use to clean it is the metal polish cream and I just rip off a small paper towel apply it to the paper towel not to what I'm working on uh, if you apply it to what you're working on it's just more work so it's easier to put it on a paper towel and then apply it to whatever surface you're cleaning that's what I can clean the gauge cluster with the plastic lens and that's why it's so clear I'm trying to see through it show what the lens looks like yeah I spent probably five minutes cleaning it it was yellow So you can see through the lenses and I use that stuff to clean all of the truck I've already polished the truck once and now I'm just going to go over it again to get the the compound off and then I'll wax it but that's the difference that it makes uh, this is the old Mustang fender uh, that's probably what three minutes of polishing it I uh, just doing it in a cross hatch so side to side up and then up and down go over it and then uh, take a clean paper towel and do the same process of cross hatch polishing and that's what it looks like I didn't get I didn't go very far with it I mean I just spent a couple minutes on it no so, that's what it looked like and that's that for a couple minutes so the stuff does really well as far as bringing out the, the luster of paint or cleaning lenses. Um, my Camry, it gets all the yellow off of the lenses. It'll probably last about six months. And then I'll go back over the headlights with it. But that's the best stuff that I've used on headlights and really any anything that I want to have a shine back to it. Uh, the more you polish, the more shiny it gets. That's what I use. Uh, I've used it on black paint. I've used it on a BMW black paint. Uh, it doesn't do anything to the paint. It just makes it shiny. It gets all the oxidation off of it. But that's what I suggest. So now it's just a matter of putting all that stuff back on there. And I'll keep moving along with it.